is about holiness before God. Many people say that one cannot be holy because we are by human nature sinful. But I will be reading to you verses from the Word of God that we can be holy. And I will be reading to you verses from the Word of God that he who follows and obeys his human nature cannot please God. And if he cannot please God, he can never follow the words of God. And thus, he can never enter heaven. But the Father sent his Son to die on the cross of Calvary so that he makes us a new creation. The person who follows Human nature that is sinful can be made righteous before God. I will be reading that verse. And then I will be reading to a verse that says that without holiness, no one can see God. Without holiness, no one can see God. Hebrews 12, 14. Many people make an alibi or a reason why they cannot be holy. And they cite what Paul has spoken. Paul said, My nature is weak, my spirit is willing, but my nature or flesh is weak. And they make that an alibi. But Paul is the one who says that Jesus Christ came so that we shall have holiness. And the holiness, the Bible speaks that we must have holiness. Second Corinthians 7, perfecting holiness out of reverence of God. So God expects us to perfect our holiness because day by day hour for hour he is sanctifying us sanctifying means making us perfect through his words and by the Holy Spirit so there's no excuse for those who say that I will never be holy because my nature is like this I am a sinful man that's not accepted by the word. God said, without holiness, no one can see God. What is the meaning of holiness? Is holiness wallowing in sin? Is holiness wallowing in adultery? Is holiness wallowing in pride? Is holiness wallowing in hatred? Is holiness wallowing in fornication and that immorality, sexual immorality, that's not holiness. The Bible says that if a man does righteous things, he is righteous. And if a man does wicked things, he is wicked. So, we must stop doing blasphemy. And before I continue with the lessons, I would like to glorify God in song. Let's give Jesus Christ a mighty hand of applause as we listen to the song, the Lord's Prayer. A big hand of applause unto Jesus. Father, which are in 
Oh, my. Yes, the kingdom and the power. 